Guys, just to let you know, I'm actually editing the video right now and I'm pausing the video just to let you know that I'm going to implement right now a part of the video that I made five hours ago and I needed to do this so it could propagate and so my user could get those roles, okay? You will understand what, I'm, what I mean by this, but it was very important that I make this video way before I registered the video, so... Okay, so let's go, guys. Guys, I'm so sorry. I thought that I, <laughs> I thought that I was re registering um, a video, but actually not. I was actually, <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was actually assigning the roles because I, what I told you in in this short video, because my plan was to actually, sorry, uh, my plan was to actually just show you how you could uh, assign. In my case, Manon, this user, Manon Lamer, to all the important roles because you absolutely need it. Not absolutely, you could make things, okay, for example, because Manon, she's already a global administrator, so she could do a bunch of things in the, um, in the Microsoft purview, but it's just a way to troubleshoot. If you get some issue, you should look here first because if you don't get the, the the correct roles, some stuff could not work while you will implement your policy, sensitivity labels, e-discovery, like when you do, when you will do this bunch of things, things could not work properly if you don't have the correct roles, okay guys? So it's actually what I did, I implement all these roles that you see here, I implemented just right now, just to give you a quick example, since I didn't uh, launch um, the video, you just click here in edit, again, again guys, if you don't see this actual edit button here, you just like, just go back and return on Microsoft Purview because it's just a bug, and I, need, I see that many people trying to click here or see a button and then they just quit, but you need to click here, and if you don't see this actual button or you just see copy, it could it could possibly happen just go back and return just go go um close the tab and return on microsoft purview so you will just need to click here on edit and you will just need to uh to add manon or whatever global administrators that you want or just user that, that get access to it okay guys so some of these roles here are outdated and i told you that here is the most important ones and <clears throat> but again because like you could easily get some issue about some detailed stuff that you really want uh, to get on your on your policy or labels or the, there's just some details that you don't like and you want you really want this stuff to happen when someone will do this or that etc. So it's important that you troubleshoot this by just see like which roles you absolutely need to trigger this and to allow um these the the correct um yeah just to say microsoft that you have enough enough um administrators uh how to say administrators uh roles in your user okay so that's it guys uh yeah i don't think i have anything to say so right now i told you that i need to do this first because it will take time i don't know how long but since I have like many stuff to do, I have other businesses to to um, to handle, and I will need to prepare the scenarios just quickly. And again, guys, it's been a long time I didn't touch at Microsoft Purview, so I don't know if I if I have like such good memory. In, so maybe I will look at you t at um, on internet while I'm doing those scenarios. Okay, while I'm fixing those tickets and doing this and that. Okay, but it's going to be very very interesting, guys. It's one of the the one of the product of microsoft that i love uh the most okay so yep guys so see you in the um, in the next video then okay guys so that's it uh the video is finished and you will now just enjoy the rest of the video